All right, my name is Henry Sullivan, and today I'm going to show you how to build one of these little micro drones. In a matter of minutes. So to start off with, this is our breakdown of all the parts that we're going to need. We need a frame, so let's take this out of its box. We have a very nice molded frame. We have a flight controller board. We have an FPV camera. Four brushed DC motors. Four propellers, two of which are counterclockwise and the other two are clockwise. A LiPo battery and then all of the hardware to put it all together. So to start off with, let's put in our motors. All, all these are, they just press fit into the frame themselves. Um, now the motors have two colors on them. This one is black and white. This one is purple and black. Uh, now the black and white um, motors, they spin in a counterclockwise direction. And you want to put those into the top right and the bottom left. So you try and feed the wire through as best you can, maybe knocking it into place with the, um, with the screwdriver. There we go. And you can push them all the way down. You can do it by grabbing either side and maybe just forcing it with your thumbs into place like so. So remember, black and white wire in the top right and in the bottom left, or the top left and the bottom right is going to be the black and uh, purple colored wire. We're going to mount our flight controller, which is this eerie little bit of board as well. Now this flight controller is pretty cool because you see this black antenna popping out from the front? Well, it is also a receiver for your controller. So you don't need to add anything else onto this. All you need is this one board. Now, with that being said, the antenna, the black antenna, points to the front of the drone. So we're going to make sure that that is pointing in the front of our frame. Uh, so you want to make sure that the motor with the black and white is on the right hand side and the motor with the uh, black and purple is on the left hand side at the front. But before we do that, we're going to grab our nice little rubber spacers and we're going to push these into position. There we go. Once all of those have been pushed into place, then you want to mount our flight controller with all of the connectors pointing down. It's going to make it so much easier to plug in all the motors and our FPV camera. So I'm going to point them down. Make sure that the, uh, that the divots in the board are actually slotting into the, uh, the divots of the, um, of the flight controller. So they all fit into those grooves in the rubber, um, in the rubber cushioning pads. Ooh, as you can see, sometimes they fall off. Need to get a little bit lower down. Fantastic, look at that. All in place, ready to, uh, to put our FPV camera on top. So, we wanna be looking in the, in the direction that we're flying, so let's plop our FPV camera facing forward. Now, forward of the drone, remember, is the black antenna. That is always gonna be facing forward. So, I'm gonna push this, or rest this on top. Now comes the tricky part. We have four very, very tiny screws that we need to screw into place. So grab your micro screwdriver kit with a Phillips, a really tiny Phillips head on the front. And then you wanna maybe go in with your hand first, push the screw through the holes, making sure they're getting relatively lined up and then you can go ahead and come back in and screw them into place. So, now that we've got everything screwed into place and mounted the way that we want to mount it, next thing is plugging everything in. So flip your drone upside down. And then all you want to do is just plug in the, uh, the cables for your motors into the closest port. All right, there you go. We've got all of those plugged into place. Now what we need to do is make sure that we plug our um, camera into place. So I'm just going to wrap the cord around and make sure that I plug the ground into ground and the hotline into the hotline. So ground goes into 
G and D, and the hotline goes into five volts. There we go, everything is wrapped around, built, assembled, and put in place. Now the only thing I need to do is power it on and connect it to my, uh, connect it to my uh, transmitter, my controller. But before I do that, let's put on our props. Now, we want to make sure that your props are spinning into the center. So your clockwise props are your top left and your bottom right. So you just want to push these onto the shafts and get them there squared away. That's one done. Counterclockwise is the top right and the bottom left. All right, look at that. That's all done. Let's pop in a battery. Let's bind our controller and then let's see if this bad boy flies. So to get this into bind mode, what you want to do, get your battery installed, possibly in the undercarriage. As you are plugging it in, there's a button on the top of the board. That if you press and hold down whilst you plug in, it pushes the drone into bind mode, which means it's going to start looking for a, it's going to start looking for a receiver or it's going to start looking for a transmitter. So now I hit bind on my, on my controller, all the lights went off and then they're going to start flashing, meaning that these two now are connected and they're talking to one another. So get off of bind mode, restart my drone, There you go, I've armed it. And it's good to fly. We have just made and built a drone in a couple of minutes. And I am now flying it around the room. It's really not that difficult. And you can even have some fun with it too. Good thing these things are very durable. Uh, cheap and easy to make and you can have yourself flying around in a matter of seconds. I've been Henry Sullivan, this has been how to build a micro drone in, uh, in less than a couple of minutes. Stay in contact for more drone related videos.